I figured I'd uh, do a quick video showing a um, machine that I captured and heavily modified. This started out as a Ponos F1, not sure of the pronunciation there, but it's my best guess. And um, I just changed the name to Ponos G1 because, you know, uh, I can't think of a better name. I have um, basically given this thing some weaponry, um, added a lot more manufacturing capability to it, uh, widened it just a little bit, tried to keep uh, the, so the stock shape as much as possible, but added a lot of the newer blocks. Um, or at least in some places, added some newer blocks to try and smooth it out a little bit. Um, changed a few features, added more uh, thrusters, um, basically made it a mobile base that, you know, um, basically somewhat armed. It uh, no longer has the little pocket back here for hiding the little tiny micro fighter. Um, that um, I read about when I uh, first read about the original. Um, uh, this was actually start. This started out as a captured um, space pirate ship, and the space pirate ship did not have the little fighter. It just you know the little area back in here was just basically all banged up and uh, on fire. But um, yeah, I've uh, basically modified this thing quite a bit. I've added uh, a lot more to it deleted a fair bit from it um, as you can see there's no more stairwell in the back the entrance is not there anymore um, the entrance is up here on both sides and you can see I've got a little bit of armor there protecting the door um, I've added the rotating um, airlock love this mod and uh, I do have a gravity generator right up there. It's off right now, but um, this has got a fully upgraded uh, refinery here, the full-size refinery. It's got a partially upgraded assembler here. I could only put two modules on it without severely changing the shape of the uh, craft. I wanted to try and keep the craft about as close to stock as possible. I um, I'm trying to remember, I think the original had one hydrogen engine. I added a second one, uh, so there's one on each side like this. I've got an oxygen tank on this side, a hydrogen on the other. I've got a full um, med station here. And, uh, in fact, I don't even know what my stats are right now. Better open it up. Um, there's, uh, you know, it's uh, this is the air vent for pressurizing the thing, obviously. I've also got a... Um, a projector there for doing repairs. Um, part of the reason for that actually is because I have some automated um, healing uh, that I'll show you in a little bit. But uh, I've replaced a lot of the conveyors with uh, uh, cargo containers. There's actually, I think there's some under there as well. Um, and yeah, like I said, got the the uh, gravity turned off. Some of the batteries, I uh, think this is one of the stock ones. Um, anyways, so as you can see, this part's still there. Uh, a lot of this has been replaced with uh, other parts. Got a couple of uh, turret controllers in here. You'll see why in a minute. Um, in fact, it looks like a projector is projecting a conveyor there, so I may have deleted one for some reason and uh, not updated the blueprint. So, I added these custom tur ball turrets. You can see right down there I've got a uh, welder. I've uh, got other welders under here as well. Um, I believe there's one right in between the uh, fuel tanks and the thrusters. I might actually have a couple in there. Yeah, there's one right there that'll repair this thruster, this thruster, the conveyor, both tanks. Um, trying to remember where the others were. This is actually a, a save from um, 
four months ago, four, yeah, about four months ago. Um, so this one right here will actually weld this tank as well as, uh, I've actually not tested it yet, so I don't know how much of this turret it can reach. It can certainly weld parts of it. I don't know if it can reach the entire thing. I may have to actually rotate it around to weld up the whole thing. Only problem with that is if any part gets shot off, this is not going to show up in the projector. The projector is only going to show the main grid, not the subgrids. So this can only be used for repairing this, not for replacing parts if they get shot off. But it'll repair anything else around it, so that's good. Uh, also, it's in range of that thruster right here. Plus, you know, we've got the armor plating on top here. Uh, I've extended some of the plating, you know, some of the armor. Uh, moved a um, a docking port up here. Uh, that's to carry some of my smaller ships. Obviously, a regular Gatling gun there. I uh, inverted. I've got a, um, an adapter here. Basically, this is a um, uh, the advanced rotor head that I atta attached a 3x3 three three, uh, rotor, small grid rotor to, and then the adapter so that I could mount um, the, um, draw a blink on the name of the game, uh, yeah, auto cannons to it. I always forget the name of those things. And uh, obviously you've got a, um, a an ore detector on there as well. So uh, I think I reconfigured, I think I moved the, the, uh, landing gear out by one and uh, put a little bit of more armor around them than they had before. Not much, but um, I can't remember which thrusters I added to this thing. I think it did already had a fair number of down thrusters, so I think it was mostly uh, the hydrogen th side thrusters I think it didn't have before. I'm not positive. Um, but uh, added these little turrets here just because I didn't want to have to mess it up too much by adding conveyors going to it because I usually don't use the interior turrets but eh, it can be handy as a minor deterrent there um, but anyways you know, this is uh, just want to show what you can do with a captured um, a captured uh, space pirate ship I kinda like the way this one turned out had fun uh, making the adjustments and the modifications. If you saw the original, uh, the original's in the in the workshop. I can't remember who made it. I'm actually very bad with names. But um, the original one is just a little bit narrower than this. I've added some bulk along here, basically just expanded a tiny bit. I can't remember exactly how much or where. But uh, it's also a little bit taller, I think, right around here and here. Um, not really positive where all I added, but if you compared the two, uh, if you're familiar with the other one, then you definitely see the differences. Like, uh, you know, the other one defi definitely does not have this sticking out, and these conveyors weren't even available when that one was designed. Um, but uh, I definitely wanted that one there for uh, the arrangement that I've got back inside here, because this right here is feeding out from there and going forward. It's feeding uh, I believe this thruster and it's going through the oxygen tank um, and all, all the way up to this thruster here and this thruster here I believe not positive on that like I said it's been several months since I opened this save but it's one of the ships that I thought turned out fairly nice looking and if you're wondering about the color scheme it's just the slightest tint of green with the, I think they call it silver armor, and uh, <laughs> for some strange reason, I thought that uh, looked decent. It reminds me of, and I'm definitely dating myself here. It reminds me of some of the Micronauts, and this is basically something that started out as a, um, I think it was kind of a cartoon to push. A, uh, a a series of toys that you're definitely familiar with after they renamed them to Transformers. So Micronauts was the original 
and um, I'm not sure if it's the same company that ended up uh, renaming, or if it was just the idea got you know stolen. But um, yeah, the uh, the whole concept of Transformers was definitely uh, you, should, you should if you're not familiar with it, you should look them up. The original uh, Micronauts had some really cool machines that could change from uh, you know a robot down to a, uh, a a semi truck or whatever and back and that sort of thing didn't have nearly the the mythos behind it that they've added to um, transformers though but I digress heavily <laughs> Um, yeah, the only mod I think I've got on this is the uh, is this one right here. This is actually a, the first mod that I used that wasn't something you know that was actually a block mod. Everything else, you know, the only mods that I've used have been uh, um, like the um, build info and stuff like that, um, and uh, I think color uh, colored icons. Yeah, love that one. That's uh, if you're not familiar with it, I recommend it. It makes it so much easier to distinguish metals and stuff. You don't have to bother reading. You literally can just take a glance and see exactly what you're looking at. But uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got you know fair number of uh, weapons on this thing and it's uh, a lot of storage I don't have any large um, large storage boxes on this but I've got a lot of the small ones couldn't fit any large ones in here I think I have one more um, gyro than uh, than was originally on this machine and uh, I'm just trying to remember oh I completely forgot I've actually got two reactors back here. Um, I think you can just see one of them right there and one of them right there. So I've, yeah, that's one of the reasons why there's no um, there's no ramp entrance in the back because uh, I took up that space where that door used to be with the uh, with the reactors. So these guys here are handy, but uh, you know it, once you get the uh, yeah, you know, basically those are for emergency use if you don't have the uranium. And I uh, think that's everything I put into this machine. Fairly sure. But anyways, thanks for watching.